The man convicted of killing Philadelphia police officer Daniel Faulkner wants a new trial. Mumia Abu-Jabal Abu will have to wait a little while longer, though, before learning if he can appeal his case. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos has the details from today's hearing. Mumia's words are poetry. Passionate is one way to describe Mumia Abu Jamal's supporters. Mumia Abu Jamal! We've been going to Washington, Harrisburg. We've been going out the country. We've been here. So much corruption. It's very clear that he was framed. Dozens gathered at the Criminal Justice Center this morning, waiting for the outcome of a hearing which could lead to a new trial for the convicted cop killer. It's exhausting. It's been 37 years. Committed is how some would describe Maureen Faulkner, the widow of Philadelphia police officer Daniel Faulkner. Mumia Bull Jamal will not, not ever be free. A jury convicted Abu Jamal of killing Faulkner in 1981. The former Black Panther spent 29 years on death row following his conviction. That sentence was reduced to life without parole in 2011. He had a biased judiciary in his appeal. Now his attorney, Judith Ritter, is trying to land Abu Jamal a new trial, saying his constitutional rights were violated when former state Supreme Court Justice Ronald Castile did not recuse himself during prior appeals. Castile also served as Philadelphia's DA, and he fought to uphold Abu Jamal's prior sentence. Ritter says there are documents which can prove the bias, but Ben Waxman, a spokesperson for current DA Larry Krasner, says those documents don't exist and this appeal has no foundation. So from the perspective of the district attorney's office, there is no violation of due process, and so we are opposed to motion for relief at this time. Let's free Mumia. Now, today's hearing lasted just about 45 seconds, and the judge did not make a ruling. This will continue on August the 30th. I'm live here at the Criminal Justice Center, Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.